your thoughts on this afternoon's game, Kevin? Um, I think overall, you know, it was a scrap and a bat battle, which you, 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 you know, you probably, you know, think that's going to be the case. Local derby and bragging rights at stake, so to speak. So, yeah, it was exactly that. It was a scrap and a battle, and um, yeah, we, we found it tough on this, you know, this surface. Um, we've had a lot of rain between obviously uh, Boxing Day, whenever it was, and. Uh, and now, and uh, yeah, it was it was difficult. Like I say, it was a scrap and a battle, and fair play for Lazar kept going and took something from the game. At the end of the day, some refereeing decisions in terms of the penalties perhaps were decisive. Uh, I don't like to uh, moan about the the referee, but you know, I think today it had too much bearing on what the game was, and you know, it's interesting that two penalties are, are, are the reason that we end up sharing the spoils. Um, yeah, I think we've had a case for, for one seconds before they're awarded theirs and you know then we get awarded one and just uh just just don't think it was uh that you know I don't think it's great when you get those sort of situations playing out and, and, and happening, but there we are. It's 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 who's you know, whoever does the game get on with it and we have to deal with it. But Shane Byrne stepped up, a lot of pressure, three minutes from the end to take that penalty kick and um become a very effective penalty taker for yeah, him. Yeah, he's, he's done he's done well and, and as I say, I said to you previously, he's you know he's worked hard at that uh, technique and he uses it very well and it's a good job he has. Um, you know, we've, we've you know been in previous seasons when we've missed too many penalties and really ended up costing us and to take a point today, you know, I think is probably fair. Um, I don't think we've done enough to, to win the game uh, and you have to give Kettering a lot of credit. They've, they've forced us into um, having to defend and, and um, had some near misses themselves, so uh, yeah, you know, I think a, a draw is probably a fair result. Um, but just kind of, ex you know, I think I don't think we made quite the, the sharp decisions and, and, and show the sharpness of, of quality that we showed perhaps against Gloucester today. But you have to give cre uh, Ketcher and credit for that. You know, they've not allowed us to settle, got into us, and, and made life difficult for us today. Uh, another positive from the afternoon, though, was uh, the return of Connor Franklin to the side. Yeah, it's, it's you know we've played without uh, like I say we've got three left backs at the club now effectively and, and all three are, 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 you know have been injured at the same time. Obviously Connor coming back, hopefully that you know that gives us a little bit of a lift and a boost. Hopefully uh, both Glenn and Morgan are not too far away and just to have your your good players back around and um, you know you want those players available for, for games and situations like this. Uh, unfortunately, Reece McNally's got injured as well in, in training, so he's got a slight hamstring. And just having the option of, of changing things around and, and, and bringing quality players into the fold, like we were able to today, we're bringing Trey on and, and Connor, as you say, and Lowy. You know, Lowy's done well, he's nearly scored and he's got us the penalty. Um, you need that about your armoury to be successful at this level. And uh, if we can get, get nearly everybody back in and, and involved at the, at the same time, it'll be a major lift for the club. Well done today, Kevin. Thank you.